What's up guys, welcome back to the 10th inning. Kind of a busy week, just getting around to recording this video here on a Sunday afternoon. Um, I've got five big returns coming up. Really excited to tear into these. Um, as usual, I'll just mention, if you guys wanna send out your own through the mail autograph returns, you can check out sportscardform.com or sportscollectors.net. And if you have questions, leave them for me in the comment. Other than that, short intro, let's get to it and uh, return number one, here we go. Here we go guys, return number one, got this back on the 18th and it's coming to us from Missouri. Let's go ahead and open it up, see what we have. First return of the week. And we've got former New York Jet, Brian Washington with a two card return. I believe I sent him the collector's choice in the game day. Let's check out the uh, collector's choice first. Here we go. Looks like he's uh, tackling Thurman Thomas there, the uh, former New Jersey, um, or sorry, New York Jet, um, Brian Washington. You see, he had a really nice year in 1993, 95 tackles and uh, six interceptions. So there we go. Signed it very nicely there in black, put his number on there. And of course, we've got 93 game day. Love these cards. Um, great signature on there. And my collection continues to grow. 93 game day. I'm. Um, this is quickly becoming my favorite card out of all the different sports to get autographed. Are these football 93 game day? I just think they look awesome. And that is a great way to kick off the week with a two of two from Brian Washington, the former safety. Let's go ahead and get to return number two. And our second return of the week, got this back on the 19th, coming to us from North Houston, Texas. Um, as a reminder guys, stick around to the end, we'll do a video recap and talk about all of our favorite returns from the week. Who do we have? Jose Cruz Jr. with a one of one return. Very cool. Very cool. Sign this uh, very nice stadium club card for me. I thought this was going to look great with ink on it. Definitely correct. Let me get the year on this for you guys. I want to say 2000. Ooh, no, I'm off a little bit. 1998 it looks like. So 98 stadium club signed in blue. Matches pretty nicely there with the blue and uh, gray uniforms. And there we go. Um, sadly enough, I found a second Jose Cruz Jr. after going through my entire collection literally days after uh, sending this one off to him. So I'll have to wait a while, maybe come across one of his uh, refractor rookie cards or uh, maybe an insert of some sort to uh, get autographed and I'll send him one more batch. But there we go, a 101 from Jose Cruz Jr. Let's keep chugging along. Here comes return number three. And our third return, got this one back on my birthday on the 20th from Tampa, Florida. Let's see what we have in here. This one appears to be no top loader return, but we got a two of two from Lou Pinella. There we go. Let's take a look at the 87 tops to start us off. Signed very nicely there in blue. The card doesn't look too damaged from the return back. I'm a little worried about that because the envelope took a beating, uh, but there we go. Now Lou does charge a fee and I will put that in the uh, video here. I believe it's uh, five bucks a card, um, but I could be wrong. So you'll have the correct one right up top here. And then here is 88 tops. This one turned out great as well. Got the team checklist there and uh, a great manager for a long time. Obviously coached the uh, Yankees, uh, coached the Cubbies for a while as well, and uh, several other stops along the way. He's also the coach in Seattle. If you remember the movie uh, Little Big League, he's part of that. And him, Randy Johnson, Ken Griffey Jr. ruined a small kid's dream. Terrible people, good baseball players, terrible people. Um, so there you go, two of two from Lou Pinella. We've got two left. Let's get to return number four. And we got this one back on the 21st, coming to us from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. 
Could we go back to back with managers? I know I'm waiting for a Leland. Oh, no way. I called it. There it is. A 101 for Jim Leland. Oh, super cool. I honestly didn't expect it. It's the only Pittsburgh name I could think of off the top of my head. So here's his 1990 tops. Signed it right like, yeah. Yeah, it looks like he signed it across the side there. Pretty cool. And um, yeah, Jim Leland, great manager in the big leagues for a long time. He didn't take any crap. Uh, there's a there's a really cool video on uh, YouTube where he is just ripping in the Barry Bonds. And this is like peak Barry Bonds in Pittsburgh. And he's just not having it at all. Whatever Barry had done to uh, make him mad, he was giving it to him and uh, had some very choice words for Mr. Bonds, and then he was no longer a pirate shortly thereafter. So, um, very cool, and uh, excited to get this one back from another legendary manager. We've got one more return to go. Let's get to our fifth and final return of the week. And our last return is coming back on the 21st, and it's making its way from Miami, Florida. This one feels a little thicker than the others. Let's see what we have inside. We've got former wide receiver and Heisman Trophy winner, Desmond Howard. Very cool. Well, I honestly, I, I wasn't sure I would ever get this one back. I think I sent it to uh, Bristol originally to uh, ESPN to get these autographed, but here they are, postmark from Miami. And signed really nicely here in black. I like that. Got the Raiders uh, on the front. Looks like he had been traded to the Packers possibly that year. So that's Leaf Preferred. And then here he is with a little 93 game day with the Washington Redskins. Looks like he's uh, making his way down the sideline maybe on a kick return. Uh, looks like he didn't score any touchdowns in 92, so probably not a touchdown pass. But there you go. Second year card from Desmond Howard. And, uh, of course, had that amazing uh, college career at Michigan. Was the, uh, does it say what round he, or what pick he was? I know he was the Redskins' top pick in 92, but I can't remember what number he went. But there you go. A 2-2 two two from Desmond Howard. What a way to finish the week. Let's go ahead and get to our video recap. All right, guys, video recap time. Thank you so much for checking out this week's video. Definitely want to thank you guys for subscribing to the uh, channel here. Definitely looking forward to checking out the comments and interacting with you guys on this one. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of the returns. Very excited about all five of these. Thank you to these five signers. Um, these are a little bit out of order. I just wanted the game days to kind of look the same here. So I moved the Washington down to the third spot and Pinella up to the leadoff spot there. But decided to go with the 1988 tops for Lou Pinella. Had the 101 from Jose Cruz Jr. from Stadium Club. Uh, went with the 93 game day for Brian Washington. Had the 101 from Jim Leland. And of course, 93 game day for the win with the Desmond Howard autograph card there, former Heisman Trophy winner. So there we go, five up and five down, guys. Another great, another great week of returns. Thank you so much for checking out the video, and we will see you next week with some brand new returns. And I've been sending off a bunch of cards, so we should have a lot coming back in the next couple weeks, and I'll be excited to tear into those with you guys and open them up right here on the channel. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Have a great week.